Hello there. My name is Baba Bertha and I'm here to introduce you to the awakening where the granddaughter takes you. Oh, what's that flying at me? I'm always having things flying at me. Did you see that? Oh, that sign, it flew at me. Did you not see it? I didn't imagine it, did I? Anyway, uh, the granddaughter is here to take you from the dark into the light. That's what the awakening is. And I've got a nice uh, orange towel on today. She said it makes me more creative. So there you go. Anyway, enjoy the awakening. Do this. She wants me to tell you to do this and to click the bell underneath. Uh, I'm doing this because um, I want to put out the message like uh, Charlie Wood's little lad, Justin. I'm sorry if I'm not as, uh, as sweet as he is, but there you go, I'm doing my best. I'm Baba Berta and I'm the grandmother. And please enjoy my show as well. Baba Berta show coming today on uh, Moving On TV. Please subscribe, Moving On TV community. Oh, it's, it's terrible. And wherever you are in the world, have a lovely day. Uh, here, there and everywhere. Where we go on, we go all. Don't know why she makes me say it, but I have to say it. I do not consent. I do not know what I'm not consenting to, but there you go. Enjoy your day. Lots of love from Baba Berta. Goodbye. Welcome to the awakening. And today it's, um, I think it's 75, something like that. And um, I've just got back from the garden again, from gardening, looking at me, planting and absolutely filthy <laughs> but I was thinking what's the best thing to talk about today on the awakening what's going to be a really good subject that I can cover to take you from dark into the light we're doing this now for 76 days it seems I think and um, I thought what I'm going to talk about is retreat retreating and um, I felt like I really needed to do that today um, because the world is insane and when I first started this, you know, 76, 76 days ago, I think it was, I felt like it was an adventure, it was something new, uh, you know, I never expected to go on and on and on the way it is, uh, you know, whatever it is we're going through and the insanity seems to be getting stronger, people are losing it, they're losing their whatever. And so I thought, well, what I thought I'd talk to you about is retreating because it gets to a point where you think, I can't do this anymore. You know, I, I really can't do this anymore. I really need space. And so today, um, I, I meditated. I didn't get up to quite late. I did a bubble birth for some of you, did a couple, bit of editing, but then I thought, that's it, I'm going. And, and so... Martin and I just went to the allotment, we stayed there, we had our chips there, you know, we rested, we did a, a little bit of planting and just took time out and meditated and just really, to get away from it all, didn't take my phone, didn't look at my phone, didn't take my camera and just thought, I just don't want to know what's going on in the world today, I just don't want to know. I don't really care anymore at the moment. I don't want to know. I know what I know and I'm doing my best and that's all I can do. And that's the best, you know, you can only, all of you can only do your best. That's all you can do. You can only do your best. And so I thought, am I going to do an awakening today or not? And I thought, well, when I come back, yes, I will do an awakening because it's a commitment to do it on a daily basis. It's the least I can do for the general public and for those that are going through so much, like we all are. And to, to just be able to share some of what I'm learning, some of the wisdom and some of what I learn in order to help you. And so I thought I'll talk about retreating. So over the years... Um, I've gone into 10-day silent retreats, Adam Ravati Buddhist retreats, I've gone on weekend retreats, I've gone on a lot of retreats. And I thought to myself, I can't do that at the moment because they're not running. And, but I, I really liked going on those things because I don't like being on my own, completely on my own for days on end. And you know, and so when you go into a silent retreat, you're still with people, you still 
have your teachers teaching you. You can ask questions. You just don't communicate with other people. And it worked really well for me. And it, it takes about three days, three days for the mind to shut off completely. I found about three days of total, total retreat and meditation and uh, away from the world and just really, you know, focusing on your meditation. You do a huge amount of meditation in the silent retreats. And um, I thought to myself, you know, it's, it, it's difficult for me at the moment because I'm a people person and I'm not seeing people. And of course, I can't do that, that kind of a retreat. So I've got to just sit with, with what I'm going through, do some gardening, and hopefully the mind will start to calm down. So it did at some point, the mind started to calm down. Whatever needs to come up, comes up. You know, it's like, yeah, I'm not afraid to cry and bring up the emotions. Whatever needs to come up, comes up. And so that's what I thought that I would share with you is, you may need to retreat yourself. You may need to retreat on and off. Just put your phones down, turn off the media. Obviously, that goes without saying, turn off the media. There's a bunch of lies and madness and just propaganda and just hypnotizing you to believe rubbish, total rubbish, because they don't want you to be awake. But turn off social media as well, because you get a lot of people going on there just talking nonsense about masks and all sorts of stuff, you know, and you need to understand that you're not obliged to do anything. You're free, okay? You're not obliged to do anything. Just just turn it on. Baba Bertha makes fun of everything. And that's how I can, can get to grip with a lot of the things that are going on. So you might just need to let go of everything. Take time out. Go into nature. I don't know, some of you are stuck at home with families and, you know, but you might need to take some time out. I've always said this, you know, of course the miracles is, is to, to do this affirmation sometimes every half hour. You do an affirmation. Um, if you can't do that for yourself, if you can't even take five minutes of an hour, then you're not going to be able to make it. You're not going to be able to find your peace. You've got to nurture yourself to a certain extent and give yourself that time to retreat, to get away to retreat. I mean, you can use creativity, you can use art, music, whatever, but it's really just saying, you know what, I've had enough of the world now. I don't want to hear the madness. I don't want to be part of the madness. I'm going to just go. I'm just going to disappear and I'm just going to leave and give myself some time to breathe. You know, in the days before the lockdown, I used to get in the car and I used to drive all over the country. Or I'd get on the plane and I'd go to Spain and sit on the beach on my own and write my life story or, you know, or write encounters, my musical, and just take time out on my own. I loved it. And of course, I can't do that now. So, but I can take time and go into the garden, the allotment, and do a bit of work on the garden and just sit there and look at the sky and breathe. And okay, and, and, some, and at some point the mind starts to switch off. You'll find. Because the mind is going to fill you with everything. You know, I have absolutely no fear of this thing, this Doris thing. You know that, I'm not scared of it, doesn't mean anything to me. I know what the message is behind it. I know why they're doing it. I know, if, I, I don't have any worry about that. I never have done. But the mind throws me into loneliness and grief and keeps repeating itself and what's coming in my own circumstances, not what's happening with the world so much. But then also I get pretty caught up in people's stupidity and nonsense and I just don't want anything to do with it because um, when I see someone put on a message to say that in a certain country they're going to go into lockdown again because the virus is spreading everywhere I, I want to take that person and whack them against a wall and wake them up but you know there's nothing you can do that you have to let them do 
what they're doing and if they don't want to wake up then they're just gonna whatever you know I, I, there's nothing you can do but it does get to me that's the problem it gets to me and it weighs on my mind and I feel uncomfortable that I can't do anything I can't do anything to help these people that won't help themselves which means waking up and figuring out what's really going on here with the kids and with this the big issues the bigger issues not little doris you know a little flu bug as i say bob of earth that makes fun of all these things and makes you laugh i tried to take you from dark into the light anyway we're going to do a how to stay stay in the crazy world car i'm really grateful that i've learned how to shuffle the cards really well um i'm just putting on moving on tv is you're going to get a bob of birth full of editing nonsense because she got a hold of my studio she got a hold of my Adobe and I don't know what she's done. I'm just dreading it, guys. I'm dreading it. And um, also, you're, you're getting Pisces, Aries, and uh, Taurus up until the end of August. That's just going on, moving on TV as well. And now we're going to do a How to Stay Stay in the Crazy World. And then we're going to do a message from heaven. Oh, I love shuffling these guys. So much fun. Okay, let's see what falls out for us. There we go. Card fell out. That's what I'm meant to give you today. Choose again. <laughs> Get this crown. So you need to choose what you want to do in order to stay sane in this crazy world. These cards are how to stay sane in a crazy world card. Where's the box? How to stay sane in a crazy world. Okay. I channeled them. Choose again. So you can either choose to choose again. I'm going to choose another card. Let's another one fall out. Whoops, a whole lot of them fell out. I only need one. There we go. So choose again. Choose how to retreat. Choose what you want to believe in. Choose how to have a better life. Whatever it means to you. We are all connected. Okay, card 28. Today I learn I am connected to everyone in some way. So even if we're not connected in body, we're connected in spirit. So that person that doesn't want to wake up and is making me angry is giving me the opportunity to bring up my anger. That's how I'm connected to that person. I'm connected to that person as well because it shows me that people wake up at different times and it's not my job to wake up the whole world. I was not put here. I was put here to be a starseed, to be an indigo, like a lot of you, to go through hell, to go through a lot of unhappiness, a lot of hell, like a lot of us have, and to learn from it and to be able to wake up whoever is ready to be woken up. You, you, you can't wake everyone up. That's not my job. You know, Jesus came here to wake up people. He did his best. And, um, of course, they asked to crucify him. And then suddenly they made him into what they made him into, which let's not go there. But what I'm saying to you is my job is to be a star seed, to be full of love, and to give you how to bring you into the dark, into the light, sorry, from the dark, to be able to explore the darkness with you and to try to explain to you what's really going on in the world. And it's not about a big bad Doris virus, believe me. Not about that. Okay, so take care. Love you lots. Please subscribe, share, and like. And um, just quickly, um, this program uh, is sponsored by um, Biomineral Balance. You can get 20% of uh, a hair analysis with Biomineral Balance. Uh, sorry, 10%, not 20%. 10%, the, the advert will be on here. I'm working on the music as we go, but at the moment the advert without the music will be on here. So take care, lots of love. And I expect Bob and Bertha will introduce you to this program, so be kind and loving towards her. She's doing her best. She's my grandmother and I love her. Bye. <laughs>